we have a binomial uh, probability distribution question. And this one, we have an expected value is what we're asked for, but we're really gonna need to build our whole table in order to get this expected value. So we are looking, uh, X is the number of residents that have type B blood. So in this case, a success is a person having type B blood. So our P, 8.9% is 0 0.089, that's 8.9% as a decimal. We have 20 sampled, so that means X is going from zero to 20. So we could type them all in, but let's do something a little faster, zero, one, two, get the pattern going and then duplicate it. It's a little hard to see, but there's a number it's 19 now, 20, 21. I want it to stop at 20 right there. So that'll stop there at 20. Now this is gonna be where Excel becomes very useful because it's gonna, it would take a long time to compute these by hand, a very long time. Now, here I want to run a binomial distribution. So I'll zoom back in here. I need binome dist binome.dist, number of successes is the X, trials, total number is 20, probability, again, you need to lock this in place, and cumulative is gonna be false. Usually gonna be false unless you're doing a uh, cumulative, which generally you can do it the other way I showed you. So again, almost always false. All right, so we're going to take this, duplicate it down. If you get numbers that are the same or really weird, uh, just double, I'm just double checking a random one at seven. It's using the seven and then this probability up here. All right, something looks a little crazy here. What are these? These are numbers that are super small. So if you think about it, basically not even one out of 10 residents has type B blood. So you sample 10 of them and what's the uh, 20 of them? What's the chance all 20 have type B blood? Basically zero. I'll make this uh, column really wide. Oh, they won't even show me. All right. So here you can see this pattern happening. These numbers are getting really small. I didn't need to make it that wide. These numbers are getting very small. And this means uh, this E negative 0.05, it means move the decimal place to the left five places. So it's gonna be 0 0.000211, et cetera. So these numbers are tiny down here is what's happening. I, I think I can make them appear as numbers. I'll go with number. So scientific is what it is now. Let's go with number. And I'm gonna need a lot more decimals. A lot more decimals. And I think I need to make this even bigger. Now, if you make it too wide, you get this crazy looking thing here. I made my number wider than the space here. So now you can see that these things are getting super tiny down here. Okay, got our table. Expected value. So remember, expected value. Here's x, p of x. Expected value, you have to do x times p of x. and duplicate this all the way down. I'm not gonna do the same things here. You could, again, all I did was I switched it to number, made it really wide, and then changed the decimal. Number of decimal places. What I really need is the sum from C24. For me, it was C24 to C4, enter. That's what we're looking for, 1.78 right there, submit. That did take quite a few steps for one answer, but just remember you're building up that table like before and then getting the expected value.